everybody and welcome to London vlog day five we're just packing up all our stuff um, we need to check out of the hotel today which was of course only booked until today as we were supposed to leave today our brother and our parents are flying back to Finland and we are going to do what we're gonna see the cursed child Harry Potter and the cursed child we're going to see the play in just three hours so we'd better hurry now we're picking up mom and dad from their hotel right now and it looks and like Hogwarts this is where they're staying <laughs> it's the renaissance at St Pancras and yes. it's a hotel that I have wanted to go to that I wanted to stay at for ages so I at least see from the inside and that's what we're doing now Imagine living in a building like this. <gasps> and wearing big ball gowns. <laughs> now we have to say goodbye to our family. See you next year! <laughs> Here we go, we're there. It's about to start in half an hour. The theatre actually looks a bit like Hogwarts. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my god! Just going in, I got myself a Ravenclaw scarf. There's Lily, our Gryffindor. There's a cloakroom. <laughs> completely shocked right now oh okay so part two is about to begin now we just had pizza in between my camera's battery just died so I couldn't show you but it was a good pizza okay here we go again um, part two is about to begin the actors are absolutely incredible I'm a massive fan of Albus Potter and of Ginny because she's exactly like the Ginny in the books she's exactly like I always imagined Ginny would be like um, yeah, I think those are my favourites. Yeah, a few minutes to go. Can't wait. We've got amazing seats right in the front. These are our seats and that's the stage. And that's Lily. again from a rather ill lottie. Um, I'm at our new hotel now, look at the cool backdrop, sitting in my bed and I thought it would be time for a little recap of the day because everything went by in a blur. Um, so yeah, we got to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Incredible, <laughs> saying that is still so surreal. And yeah, it was brilliant, especially most of the actors. I loved Albus Potter. Oh my god, I, I think I fell in love um, today. It was so incredible to see some of the characters again. I cried so much when Dumbledore appeared and I laughed so much at Ron's heartwarming jokes and yeah, that was that was just so, so, so wonderful. Um, I have to admit, I wasn't so happy with the choice of Hermione, but apart from that, brilliant. On the other hand, what has to be said is that it definitely is a play. Um, that storyline wouldn't work as a book, that storyline wouldn't work as a film, and some of the parts were... 
I'd say quite exaggerated. So I wasn't the biggest fan of the storyline, especially part two, which got a bit crazy in my opinion. But then again, it is a play. That's what theatre is. That's how theatre works. And I'll just have to keep that in mind. And I think I'd rather keep it as a separate thing from the Harry Potter world that I know. Um, it was really, really good, but it was theatre. But all in all, we had amazing seats. Some people didn't come, so Lily and I just took their seats. In the salts, in the middle, we had an amazing view. Um, it felt like they were actually doing magic on stage. I think that's what I loved most about it, that there was so much, you know, flying, spell casting, so, so much actual magic happening on the stage. Um, they went to that little telephone box that brings them to the Ministry of Magic and they went inside and just disappeared. I have no idea what happened there. It was actual magic happening on stage and that was incredible. Um, what else should be mentioned? Oh yeah, between parts one and two there was a break of three hours which we spent at the Mina Lima store and Mina Lima are the um, graphic designers of the art of Harry Potter. You know, they made all the daily profits, all the posters, all the little details like the boxes of the Bertie Bots beans and chocolate frogs and all that. And in my opinion, the Harry Potter world wouldn't be the same without them. And they were actually in the store and I got to talk to them and I told them how inspiring they've been to me because they have been. They, they are my idols. They have showed me that you don't have to be, you know, a politician or a doctor to change someone's life, to make people happy, to make people's lives better, but you can do something you love and something that you're good at and, you know, create such a big world that will then turn into a big part of those people's lives. And I admire them so much and I got to meet them. I got so emotional telling them these things. And of course, I didn't film while I was there talking to them, but I went back afterwards to get a little footage of them so I can show you which is here now. So these are the real magicians behind the magic of Harry Potter. Just wait. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and after that, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child part two started, and Lily and I ended up spending that on the toilets, throwing up, yeah, TMI, but, I have no idea why, but we both got sick and we missed big chunks of part two. But then again, oh well, that makes the story even funnier. Never mind. Um, we're back at the hotel now, trying to get healthy for New Year's Eve tomorrow. And that's why I'm going to end the video now. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment if there's something you want to share with us. And see you again tomorrow. Mwah.